Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. So today is Saturday, May 16th, and it's uh, very warm. It feels like it's about 75, 78 degrees. So later this morning, I'm gonna be planting sunflowers. But before I do that, I'm gonna help my wife record a video for her YouTube channel, her Spanish language cooking channel, and it's gonna be arroz con leche. Okay, la cámara ya está lista. Tengo el micrófono prendido. Okay. ¿Está lista? Okay, a la una, a las dos y a las tres. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a mi canal y su canal. Hoy día vamos a hacer un postre delicioso, un arroz con leche muy popular. Eh, no muchos ingredientes eh, para que ustedes también lo puedan hacer. Le voy a dar la receta ahora mismo. All right, guys. So my wife and I just finished this video for her cooking channel. Rice pudding. Arroz con leche. So the only thing left to do is for me to try it. So. Mm. It's really good. It's still very nice and warm. We did the videos. I think we did like 15 clips, short clips. We're going to put the movie together. I took some pictures and it's going to look, uh, it's going to look awesome on video and on, on the uh, pictures. But tasting it, it's even better. That's the, the, the best part. All right, then here it is close up. Mm -mm. I wish you could all have a little bit. By the way, we've done a, another arroz con leche a while ago, uh, about five years ago, but this by far definitely beats the other one. This is so much better. All right, guys, so what a difference a week makes. It's uh, about 80 degrees. I'm in, in a t-shirt. And today, this afternoon, we're gonna plant uh, some sunflowers, mammoth Russian sunflowers. And this is what they are. They're it's a uh, gigantic plant. They grow about 12 feet tall. All right, so these seeds came from the store, but I also have some seeds from the plants themselves from last year. So I'm gonna plant it all the way over there in a the little area. I cleaned it up already, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start planting now. But first, I wanna move the uh, soil a little bit. I mean, I don't wanna till it. I just wanna move the dirt a little bit. Uh, pull it up with the uh, with a rake so it makes it easier for the plants to uh, grow all right so this is the area that I'm gonna plant the sunflowers in all the way back here Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plant them and maybe plant them kind of close, like three or four inches apart. However, when they grow, then I wanna space them 12 inches apart. So what I'll do is I'll cut the ones or take out the ones that I don't need. There we go. I'll put them just a few inches apart. And then I'll, once they grow, I'll just take the ones I don't need away. So it's best just to plant more than what I need. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant the marigolds. All right guys, so there they are. All of them are planted along this edge. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the uh, sunflower seeds with about, a, about an inch of soil all the way, all the way down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it with this chicken wire. 
The reason being is that I have a lot of squirrels and I know they're gonna come in here tonight or tomorrow and dig them all up and eat the uh, seeds. Squirrels will do that. Sometimes they'll even pull up this, these plants and I have, I need a way to protect them. But what I'll do as well, I'm gonna mulch this in a couple of minutes. Right, guys so I'm done with a chicken wire and this is how it looks and this is definitely gonna keep the squirrels away all right so the one thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna water it and then I'm gonna mulch it Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put mulch around the marigolds and on the other side of the sunflower seeds. And once the sunflower starts growing, I'll take the wire out and put mulch in there as well. So yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna look great. Alright guys, so I'm done. And this is how it turns out after I added mulch. And then this wire, I'm gonna take out once the plants are about a foot and a half tall or so. And then I'll add more mulch in there. So yeah, it's looking good. One step at a time. Okay, and check out the kale spinach and Swiss chard. It's twice as big as it was last week when I last showed you. And I'm ready to plant them tomorrow. All right guys, so I'm gonna close this log now. It's been a beautiful day and uh, temperatures reached 80 degrees today and that's what I was looking for to continue with the garden. So yeah, it's been a very nice day and uh, you know, I've been working hard when my hands are like this. So yeah, check it out. So from here, I'm watching my wife uh, make dinner. I think she's making arroz con gandules no, I'm just kidding. I, I have no idea. I think she says something about a salad because I need to like, uh, well, you know. So, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to continue with the garden a little bit and I'm going to plant the Swiss chard, spinach, and kale and maybe work a little bit on the truck. I don't know. So, we'll see how the day turns out. And I'm going to close this log now. I wish you all the best. All right. Good night.